Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in once again. Let's randomize our character, see who we're playing as today. And we're going as the Forgotten. Just the regular old Forgotten. He could be a little bit of a hard nut to crack for me. I've said it many a time before, but I get a little bit too committed to the swing. But he's a very fun character nonetheless. So we shall go for it. Uh, I don't know if I want to go straight into my cash room. I'm definitely tempted, but it's a little sketch. Just remember to grab stuff with flight. That's my main issue. I just don't ever grab stuff with flight. Okay, um, there's some interesting stuff here. See, we've got a bit of a problem here. Because if I use flight to grab this, it'll give me a soul heart. So I kind of have to use the key. But it does mean I can grab this and then still grab that. Also, AAA battery is a trinket that I haven't seen in such a long time. Right, we'll we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll go cash room. We'll just go, we just gotta be careful. Um, we can fly in. Ooh, okay. Unfortunately, not really what we're looking for here. But we got a sack, and that gave us a terrible card. Uh, yeah, gotta be a little careful of the ghosty surly boy. Just remember he's at half a heart now. Oh, we are we are getting some rooms that I'm vibing with heavily right now. But for today's question of the day. Mine is going to be just because I've just been I've just caffeinated myself for the first time in a little while. I've been I've been laying off caffeine a little bit this week just to try and better my health because I, I drink too much caffeine and I usually drink it in forms that are not okay because I don't like coffees. So I drink a lot of energy drinks. Um, what's what's your guys' vice? What's what's like even if it's not something like you need like caffeine? What's like something that you feel you're pretty addicted to and you definitely need to stop? That was nice. What is your vice? Oh, creatine powder. Hell yes. And we're going mother as well, which last time we got mother, we forgot about it. So let's actually try and go mother this time. But yeah, what's your vice? What's what's the thing that uh, that you feel you need each day? <laughs> or at least you need something you need to do each day. I know some people like it could be it could even be something like, oh, dude, like an OCD or something where like some people have that thing where they got to, like flick the light switch off 10 times before they enter a room or exit a room, whatever. Uh, anything like that. Right, Toy Shovel is potentially pretty good. In fact, with a two-room charge, I think that's pretty good. Oh, we lost out on Cancer, though. But we immediately got Book of Secrets, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, not that I want to keep Book of Secrets, but still. I should probably try and use it at least one more time, really, but let's let's not... Uh, oh, my God. This is such a terrible room right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so I'm in a bit of a tough spot here because I'm going to lose a burn heart and I can't switch to my soul form because if I get hit again with my soul form, I die. <laughs> I have um, misplayed somewhat. Enemy spawning? No. Okay, unfortunately not. So I don't really know Toy Chest's chances to proc uh, in terms of giving us a chest. But, on a two-room charge, when it's supposed to be a three-room charge, I reckon we're going to be able to get a lot more out of it than otherwise. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Even if we get, like, one chest of floor. I think with a golden key, I'm going to go to my shop and try and buy a red heart. I should also maybe just quickly check out my, uh, my room here. And this is why we do it, people. This is why we do it. The double soul heart action. I wasn't expecting that. And that puts our soul in a way better position. I mean, they'll be gone momentarily because we're about to trade them. Um, I probably should have left them, actually. And we get ourselves a rainbow poop here. So we don't need to, need to check our shop. Although, could bomb our donation machine for something. So, unfortunately, not really worth it. Right. Secret room is... We've got some potential here for a secret room. Let me just check this wall to the left here. Yeah, it's there's a good chance it's here. So let's try this out. Unfortunately not. I'm not going to go fishing around. Uh, I want to save at least two bombs, obviously, for the next floor here. So, Of course, this guy isn't great for us. We don't really have anything like super offensive to help us out here. But we do have a very, very good level of damage. I'm a little... I have to say, I'm a little apprehensive of this boss here. Just because this is a... This is a boss. Okay, there you go. That until we get him into a next phase, it's going to be very hard for us to hit. Good thing is, we can quite easily get rid of the gas clouds. Oh, shit. I completely forgot about the uh, the creep. 
I don't know why I switched back to Soul Farm there. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, now that we've got health, we can actually use Soul Farm to shoot him. Let's just do that. It's way more safe. There you go. And we'll check out our Devil Deal. We'll most likely grab something from there. Extra HP's good. Um, we might as well just grab it at this point. Unfortunately, the shovel didn't give us anything. Okay, so, right. We've got Monster Manuel, which is pretty decent. Rotten Baby's definitely my, my utmost choice right now. Oh, we've got the Sacrificial Blade. When shooting, 7% chance to launch a piercing dagger that does no damage but inflicts bleed. All enemies that bleed will drop Sacrifice Blood. Okay, that's not great for us right now. So let's just grab that. And we shall be on our way, sir. On our way. So far, so good though. But yes, caffeine's definitely a vice for me. I, I, I have a sort of odd relationship with caffeine because obviously when people say, oh, I'm addicted to my caffeine, I need my caffeine in the morning, you immediately think tea or coffee. But I don't drink either. Considering I'm British, it's an offence. But um, I could be jailed if people hear this. But I actually don't like tea or coffee and I don't drink either. And, and it's not even like I just rather not drink them. I don't ever drink them. If I'm offered them... I, I'll never have them. I just don't, I just, especially coffee. I hate coffee. I, I can tolerate tea, but I'm, I'm not a huge fan. Um, that's rather nice. But yeah, um, so I, I've always had energy drinks and basically since being about 14, I've had one like, I wouldn't say every day. Uh, we'll grab this. A fancy brooch is actually really good. Um, I've had one pretty much every day. I, like, I've, I've gone through phases of, have, of like not having them and having them. Obviously, if I'd have them every day, I'd probably have a heart attack by now, so. But I definitely have them too much. I mean, recently, uh, in the past, like, three or four years, I've been having this stuff called Sneak, which is like a energy drink replacement stuff. Kind of like G Fuel, but it's not quite as overpriced. And it's uh, got some better stuff in it. Ooh, we're getting some lucky, uh, lucky chests here. Unfortunately, the chests don't have much good in them, though. But the fact that we know that we can get items... Okay. I remember this room being a bit buggy last time, so we got to be careful. Okay, there you go. It's fine. It, last time it dropped a leech on the other side of those metal blocks. I don't think whoever made that room thought about the leeches. Um, so, yeah. Like, I've been drinking drinks for a long time. It's definitely not a good habit. And I, I highly, highly do not recommend to anyone that is trying to not have heart disease when they grow up. Uh, and I am trying to cut down, like I said. But it's just... Like, you get into... This, caffeine's weird. You get into this really weird cycle where you have caffeine, and so it keeps you up at night. Ooh. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's bomb this. I'm gonna... I'm gonna buy the soul heart, just so we have soul form. And I'm gonna buy the sack as well. Fortunately, that wasn't super worthwhile. But yeah, um... You, Especially if caffeine affects you a lot, which for me it does. Despite drinking it for so many years, I have basically no tolerance to caffeine whatsoever. Which is weird, but nice. But yeah, I just have absolutely no tolerance to caffeine. So, it, like, if I have caffeine past around 2pm, I am guaranteed going to be staying awake with it. Um, I'll do this. Yeah, I'm, I'm guaranteed going to be staying awake. Um, try and play this. Did that seriously just do one payout? Yeah. Uh, and it's kind of this weird thing where if I have caffeine a little too late in the day, or even if sometimes if I have it early, I'll then try to go to bed and it'll keep me awake all night. As it, well, I'll be up until like 3 a.m. And I'll wake up for work at 9 a.m. the next day, feel super tired and groggy, and so want an energy drink to wake myself up. And thus, the cycle begins. And that's why I've taken a break this week. This, this is my first day having caffeine uh, this week. And it, yeah, it's just because um, you, you enter this really bad cycle of just perpetuating the need for caffeine. But also, the caffeine is the reason that you needed the caffeine. And it's, it's just not healthy at all. Oh, God, I should not mean to get hit by that guy then. Oh, got hit again. Okay, please don't lose a burn heart on this fight. In fact, Rotten Baby might be able to sort this guy out for me. Indeed, he did. Squeezy is good here too. Uh, and then let's go and get our knife piece. I I potentially could fight him again in ghost form, but I'm a little apprehensive. Um, but we'll uh, take our fire, go to our mirror. We don't have too big of a journey from our mirror to our item room. I don't particularly remember the rooms that we had along the way. I'm definitely noticing, by the way, that the lag that I was having prior has cleared up a lot. Like, I still get tiny bits of it, but it's nowhere near as noticeable now. Nowhere near as noticeable. So that's one. 
Holy sugar tits. Oh shit. Uh, careful, careful, careful. I got a rainbow chest <laughs> from this. That was unexpected. That's, for one, a lot of keys. That was a really good little uh, thing there. Give us another chest. It also seemed to open this chest. Does it open chests that are nearby? Oh! Despite how good our trinket has been for us, pride. Pride is the best. Pride is the best. One of the most overpowered trinkets in the entire game. You just get the pride mini boss with you for the entire run. And he can't die. <laughs> it's so good. Right, that was a, a great use of our uh, active there. I was not expecting it to be quite so lucrative, but very happy. This is a good forgotten room. Right, let's head away. I'd, I'd love to be able to carry two trinkets, because having it on a two-room charge has been pleasant, but... Anyways, we also got Cube Baby, which is actually pretty good. I still... Someone needs to make a mod where you can hit Cube Baby with a forgotten swing. Like, why can't you? <laughs> That's got to be an oversight. There's no way that's intended behavior. Right, let's go check out our shop as well. Because we did have a reroll machine in there, and we now have quite a lot more money. So I think propping the reroll machine is going to be worthwhile. Tarot cloth? Yeah, let's let's get tarot cloth at least. I'll, I'll bomb this and see if it gives us any money. There you go, look. We got some money. I actually don't think pay-to-play is worth it. I actually don't. But tarot cloth is good for us to grab. Let's go down to our next floor. See what we get. I think Tarot Cloth's one of those ones that it's always worth it. Just in case you get, like, a hero font. It's going to give you an extra soul heart. Um, or a reverse hero font for the for the uh, Forgotten. It's going to give you an extra burn heart. I remember when that was broken for a little bit. And it gave you, like, eight burn hearts for some reason if you had Tarot Cloth. Anyways, down we go. So as far as, uh, as, far as Mother runs go, this one's going quite smoothly. I don't know if I'm just getting exceedingly lucky with our active or not, but I'm getting a lot of chests for a bit. Uh, of course, getting a rainbow chest is really, really lucky. That's There's no doubt about that. But, I just mean the amount of chests we've been getting. Like, they haven't exactly been rare so far. Nice. And we've just got, like, the perfect amount of, like, speed, fire rate, and damage to, like, perpetuate a very good run here. Oh, and we can open these with a swing. I forgot about that. And they're really good as well, because remember, haunted chests and spike chests have their own item pool now. Thanks to me and Prayan. So, uh, me and Pedroff, sorry. Ooh, horse spill. I can see forever. Pop in here real quick. Another soul heart on the docket. Good. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I kind of want Pride to take care of these guys. That's uh, that's the one thing with Pride. If he ever gets nerfed, which I believe he will eventually, the main thing you got to do to nerf him is just get rid of the ridiculous contact damage the dude has. If he walks into an enemy, which he does often, he just insta-kills anything. And maybe add in the chance for him to drop troll bombs like he normally has. Because then that's give, that gives him a downside, too. I think that would be, like, a good sort of balancing act. Re don't remove it completely, but reduce the contact damage and give him the chance. But a, a definitely a lowered chance, not, not like an every room sort of thing. But give him a chance to actually, um... Ooh, grab that. Okay, we'll just grab in all of these. What did you drop for us there? The tower. Yeah, let's suck all that up. Um, yeah, give him the chance to drop troll bombs every now and again. Upon entering each room, I mean, that's interesting, but unfortunately not what we need right now. We have a redonkulous amount of money right now. I'm going to try and make a little more here. I was hoping for an item, to be honest, so I could do some re-rolling. Um, ooh, this is a good item. Oh, we lost Tech X, though. Oh, I love this mod. This mod that tells you what you missed out on. It's the greatest thing ever. Don't want to lose this burn heart. Yeah, just... just being able to see the mistake that you made. Okay. Um, yeah, we definitely want this. Oh, we should grab the red heart as well. Yeah, being able to, 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 to see the mistake that you made. It's such a brilliant idea. Like, it is something that I could definitely see being in the vanilla game because it's such a trolly thing. And it's like, it's so harmless as well. It's like, 
it's a, it's a troll, and it kind of gives you a bit of, oh, fuck. But at the same time, there ain't nothing you could have done about it. If you, didn't, if you didn't see the item, it'd be the exact same result. You just wouldn't have known that you lost out on something good. I think it's such a cool idea for a mod. Okay, so Pride's just like sitting there in the middle, chomping away at these fools. No, 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 not again. It's my voice. Again, Pride should do a good job of taking out these fellas. Nice, nice. Oh god, did not see you guys coming. Was, did, did one of them survive? I think he's dead. You can never quite tell, because sometimes he takes a really long time to start up the next wave. Like, if he's in the middle of an attack, he's just like, nah, next wave is coming next year. Right, Pride, just get in there. Oh, that was a bad hit, but at the same time, kind of expected. I just kind of stood there and accepted it. I tried to use the troll bombs to our advantage there, but it didn't really work. I'm in a bad spot here, really. Oh, God. Last wave. It's not a particularly hard one, either. It's actually a really easy one. <clears throat> Says that and like, loses his devil deal. <laughs> You moron. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? Oh my god, that was so stupid. I'm like, oh, this is an easy one. Immediately lose Devil Deal. I just didn't um, see that attack coming and the fucking pits in the ground kind of blended in a little bit too much for me. Okay, so just remember, we've, we're going to have to trade HP away at the end of this floor to the mausoleum door. So don't go too ham with our ghosty boy. Probably should have checked for secret room at the same time than when I placed that down, but oh well. Yeah. These guys are a little bit painful. Oh dude, that was a that was a bad hit there. I didn't realise there was fire there. We're good though, we're good. Mask of infamy is hundred percent. Oh <laughs> you savage! Mask of infamy or better mask of infamy. And I I picked the Oh, what a troll. I'm getting absolutely trolled right now. I need to remember as well that I've got um, this. Oh, I forgot that... Um, I was like, I don't have Play-Doh Cookie. I forgot that Pride also makes you get, get Rainbow Tears. It doesn't have any effect on your actual damage or anything like that. It's just visual. It's really good. I realise that this is going to release the, uh, the damaging blocks here. Ah, I've, I've just realized I actually have to release them. Okay, that's fine. I didn't realize there was buttons underneath them. See my see my pro dodges there. Whoa. This is kind of an interesting room. It's, it's very, very dangerous. Oh my god. Let me just pop this real quick. I like that room design though, that's cool. Oh, now this room design, I do not like. <laughs> Thank God we have the Forgotten so we can one-hit those guys. Oh, no, this is also awful. Okay, Mask of Infamy, thank you. Oh, that again, that's a good room design, but that's scary as hell. Some people are pretty damn creative out there. Right. Oh, lordy, lordy. Okay, we've got another half soul heart there. Good, good. Looking for our shop at the minute. Shop's pretty important. I'm pretty confident in Secret Room being here, honestly. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's an enemy in here. Was not expecting that. More cards? Eh. I'm okay, thank you. While I, while I do have Tarot Cloth, Pride is not moving anywhere. We're, we're not getting rid of Pride anytime soon. I keep hearing like a gulping sound whenever I kill enemies. I'm not quite sure what that's about. I'm not sure like what... Oh, is it Chimera? Maybe? I think it's Chimera. Good. 
into this room now. Pride, just do us a favor. Ooh, this guy is a champion. Looks really cool. He's not like fully red. Okay, so shop will be after this room. Good. Oh, golden troll bomb. Go away, golden troll bomb. Ooh, unfortunately, not a great pickup for us right now. But I respect it. I'm going to pick it up just because it looks cool with the respray. Crooked Penny, you say? You devilish dog. First of all, let's pick up this and go use it. That's that's our that's our priority number one. This could give us this could yield us something great. Was this the secret room with No, it wasn't the one with the reroll machine, sadly, was it? Damn. We did get Mega Mush, however. <laughs> I will take that. Nice. Okay. Uh so obviously we don't want thingy anymore. Um I haven't had Mega Mush just forgotten before, I don't think. Obviously, we don't want Crooked Penny anymore. I will take this, though. And then let's do some re-rolling. Oh, Conjoined is so good here. Um, bit of a speed up. We don't really need that, I don't think. We should also do this. Uh, I think Hive Mind's a good grab. Hive Mind Resprite looking pretty good there. Compass is interesting. I know that I'm using money that I can't actually... Thingy. Okay, anyways, let's go. Right, good stuff. Conjoined here is fantastic for us. But yeah, uh, Mega Mush. Mega Mush is going to be quite fantastic. Now, I can still use Ghost Form in this area, so... Oh, that's interesting. Yes, okay, we can grab the Hanged Man. This is going to make this room way easier. I gotta say, there's always a bit of uh, like secrets if you've if you've got the ability to grab certain things in this area. Obviously, there's very rare chances that you can. I think Forgotten and characters with flight are like the only ones that can, which makes it a little bit niche and weird because then then they're the characters that you specifically don't need it on. But whatever. But yeah, we should be able to get through this very very easily. Apart from if I forget how to function as a human. Okay, there you go. Right, this one we shouldn't need the hangman for either. Why would I even? Why would I even try that? That was such a terrible idea. So... Weirdly, we've managed to get all of the explosive versions of this, which is kind of funny. Right, you do your thing. The fires are easy to get through for us, luckily. Right, you do you. Yeah, I don't even know why I'd attempt to blow up one of those with my forgotten swing. That was just a all-round god-awful idea. But now we can pop this. Get another hanged man from here. I didn't even realize you'd be able to get a second one. From over here. Oh, God! I didn't have the hanged man enabled. I'm dumb. Oh, for some reason, I just assumed I'd still have flight. That's not how any of this works. But there you go. We're through. A little bit close to losing uh, something there. Whoa, I love, how, I love how conjoined looks on the forgotten here. Right, let's, uh, let's get ourselves gone, shall we? Mega Mush, of course, could be great. I doubt we'll use it for the boss on this floor, though. Um, we can go and pick up this half soul heart down here on our way as well. I always find it funny how Cube Baby just gets in the way every time you try to exit a room. He's like, no, no, pay attention to me. I don't want to pay attention to you. Secret room wise, second secret room, I don't actually know. I guess I could try here just in case. Nah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pop this and, and go in for the for the regular old kill here. We've got so much damage that we don't need Mega Mush. We get ourselves another one of these. Good, good. And then I reckon we'll play this a little and see what we get. Yes, that's the sort of stuff we want. Cool. 
Bren. Spin down. Okay, that's that one's over. Let's spin down both of these. Book of Jubilees. I like Book of Jubilees a lot. Wheel of Fortune, which we can pop down here. Okay. This is good. Gives us more fodder to play this guy with. Black Rune here. Black Heart there. We're looking for more burn hearts, really. Or an item. Yeah, like that. Adam's Rib's fantastic. A Joker card. Good. And then I reckon we blow both of these up. We buy Book of Jubilees here. Book of Jubilees is just great. Um, And we... We can just pop the death card, whatever. Grab this. Pop the Magician, whatever. Wheel of Fortune can go down there. Pop that down. Okay, now we're in the market for some good stuff. We've got a Void Rune there, but I'm going to take the Joker card instead. And then... Bit of a mistake on my behalf here. I think we'll go one with that, one with you. Then go back and pick up a Red Heart real quick. I didn't think about the, the, mo the Mausoleum Door. But, we've managed to prevail. We'll be okay. We've got our knife. We're good to go. Mother's pretty much completely wrecked. Just because we have Meg Mega Mush now. That should last pretty much the duration of said fight. One second, guys. Okay. Let's carry on. We don't want to be going through there yet. Um, I don't want a Joker card until we get a bit more HP, but let's pop Mega Mush. By the way, I think there is a mod out there that um, that adds like new skins for Mega Mush, but I didn't feel the need to download it just because I don't get Mega Mush that often, but maybe I should give that a try. Arcade here. Oh, that was a... Whoopsie. That was a crane game, and I just absolutely shreked it. Q-Baby's getting pushed around like crazy. Haven't really effectively used Mega Mush here at all, I wouldn't say, but... There you go. I love the big swing. Okay, we're actually going through a lot of rooms here that without completing them. Whoops. I just noticed how many rooms I entered and didn't actually complete there. Whoopsie. It's okay, though, because when we do complete them, we get the charge. I don't know where we're getting uh, holy light shots from. Maybe that's our uh, buddy in a box, potentially? I'm going to guess it's our buddy in a box. One second, guys. Let's carry on. Hagen does. We've almost got Mega Mush charged up again. Oh god. Almost lost a burn heart there. Monstro's Lung. Hell yes. I love Monstro's Lung. How does it work with this guy? Oh, it does still work with this guy. Good. Oh, and it's rainbow as well. It's beautiful. Okay, there's a Dom Mick here. That's a lot of justice. Uh, we'll definitely grab that and that. Grab our Joker. And everything else can be sucked. We don't need anything else, and I'd rather have an item. This should yield an item. There's enough stuff in there. And it did, and we got a cool item as well. Uh, while firing... Ooh, nice. We can charge up a creep beam. And that will coincide nicely. Yes! We basically just got double monstrous lung out of that. <laughs> I like this. This is a nice setup we got going on. Check our shop out. 
Now, 4.5 volt. Hmm. Right, let me let me just go and quickly do a bit of research here. Uh, Isaac Megamush. Basically, I want to check, does the damage outdo 4.5 volt? The contact damage by Megamush, Megamush will allow it to recharge and use multiple times in the same room. It says it's a synergy. It might not be very good, but I'm going to try it nonetheless. Yeah, honestly, that's not great. Oh, wait, no, no. Okay, that was actually pretty good. We charged a lot there. Let's just go. Yeah, that, that actually charged quite a significant amount off of that one boss. I mean, that was a boss, which is a bit different, but... Otherwise, some good stuff. Yeah, honestly, we, we've we've nearly recharged it off just a few rooms there. I think that worked out reasonably nicely. <laughs> you think I'm going to reroll this room? You fool! I did miss out on playing those black chests a little bit. Also, Adam's rib. Adam's rib is doing so well for us right now. Lucky Penny there. Oh, God, that was scary. <laughs> It should mean that we get an extra charge on Mother as well, which will be nice. Be careful, because we're a little... Oh, there's a half-red heart in here, somewhere. There you go. Grab that instead. Good, good, good. Wish those ghosts, these ghosts weren't invincible upon fair spawning in. I love the fact that the swing can, like, hit an entire room. It's just beautiful. Don't you dare steal a charge from me. Nothing there that I want, really. Like, look at that. Like, what a waste of time on those guys. I mean, technically... Can you farm charges with, uh, with this guy by walking in and out of the same room? If there's a boss in it, I suppose you could. It's it's debatable how useful 4.5 volt is. It's better in certain situations, but it really depends on the rooms that you get. Hey, little horn. Look at that. Yeah, it really depends on the rooms that you end up getting to how useful that ends up being. Like, against bosses, it's very, very good. Okay, and then we'll take that. We'll go through here and just mm, unfortunately get ripped off. Go through here. Go brrr. Down we go. Okay, hopefully we can get through most of this floor using this charge. I don't know how much of it will get through. It really depends on how many dead ends I end up taking, which will probably be a lot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Unfortunately, a lot of wrong ways so far. But we've almost got another charge, so that went reasonably well. Not perfect. But I, like I said, I think we're completely fine for Mother, and that's all that really matters. Also, Book of Jubilees being as overpowered as ever. It's lovely. Hey, speed up's kind of nice here. Get us up to maximum speed. Rock Gut here is an interesting one. I don't think I'm going to use... Actually... Uh, no, let's, let's not use it, and let's just use our charge-up attacks. I'm going to say, I think we're 
we're more than set to uh, to kill this guy pretty easily with the attacks that we've got going on right now. There you go. No use. No need to use Mega Mush until the next floor. Hey, that's spun. Bit of spun's very nice for us here. Do, 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 do. And then there we go. Right, let's keep going. This is incredible. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have popped Mega Mush actually, thinking about it now, because obviously it means that I'm not going to have it ready for the boss, or like, yeah, not quite, but honestly, we're going to get it pretty quickly once the fight begins, so it's not all that bad. Oh, there's a crawl space in here. I accidentally exited and entered that room about five times there. Whoops. Another one of these. Sadly, no payouts from those yet. Right. Try and... Oh, my God. I not... Don't lose a burn hat. No. These enemies, I hate them so much. They are the worst enemies to ever exist. Who the hell designed them? Please go away. Just there you go. Pop your head up, you fool. Right, check out a crawl space here. Can't remember what this does. Oh, oh, you've got to have enough speed to get over there. Oh, oh my god, that's scary. <laughs> That is scary. Right, we've almost got Mega Mush back here. Yeah, there's a lot of chances to negate damage with that item there. Yeah, we just about got it back. Hey, we got an Immortal Heart as well, and a Savage Heart too. Unfortunately, we can't pick up the Savage Heart right now. Right. Let's get in there. And then we are good to go. This should pretty much auto-charge it for the next, like, if we need it again. The only thing is, the downtime between phases is going to waste some time. Look how big our bonus. Yeah, look, we're, we're already ready again. We already ready again. I and mean, we're going to kill it in one, in one sitting anyways. Mega Mush is just such a fun item. But there you go. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Pretty fantastic episode here as The Forgotten. A nice little win, and we'll hop into the chest. And I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.